Um, so most time, most of the time when artists put their music out, they don't really, um, they just put it out like through a distribution platform, but it's like three, four other ways that you can capitalize on streams other than just a distribution platform. One, you got to make sure your song is copywritten so that you own the intellectual property of your music. Two, you want to make sure that you register to certain, um, sites to get considered for like a Grammy or a billboard. I don't know about y'all, but I know me. I got friends who've been on a billboard charts already based on just getting their music registered in the proper places. So um, that's a whole nother conversation, the billboards. Anyway, if y'all got questions, feel free to ask. But um, so it's like five different networks. Well, six now, because they just added one this year, this year called MLC, which is not on this paper. Um, but you have to have your music registered to these certain sites. Like right now, I, I've gotten a check cut from BMI. That's that's the um, performance rights organization. I've gotten a check cut from Sound Exchange. Sound Exchange is what, uh, how from like radio streams and um, internet radios, registered internet radios, because not all internet radio stations are registered through programs like Sound Exchange. I think they have to pay for it, so I don't know the details on how you get your a radio station um, registered. But um, I've gotten a check from MLC, so that's DistroKid, BMI, Sound Exchange, and MLC. Um, and people just don't know that. I don't know why they don't know that. I do not know why this information is not common. I do not know, but that's why I'm here. So if y'all know artists or, you know, just want to know for yourself like feel free to hit me up my contact information is on the back um if y'all want i can briefly go over each one of these um points copywriting sound exchange dish your kid bmi nielsen i don't mind so basically nielsen sound scan and sound exchange they kind of like work together um they collect uh sound exchange collect there there are mechanical royalties and there are performance royalties BMI collects your performance royalties and they collect for example let's say you get your song played in Win Dixie no. they got your song in Win Dixie you they they collect streams for that like when whenever your song gets played like in a venue you're really supposed to get paid for it if ever your song gets played in a movie you're supposed to get paid for it if your song gets played on a commercial you're supposed to get paid for it and BMI or any other performance rights organization is who pays you for that. Um, BMI is not the only one. That's just the one that I use. There's ASCAP and there's another one that you that's like invitation only, but they only work with like people like Bruno Mars and like, you know, people like them. Um, right. And then um, ASCAP, you have to pay for. That's why I didn't do that because I just didn't feel the need to have to pay for some shit that I could get for free. Uh, sound exchange. This is how you get, this is how you get, um, okay, so BMI, they collect royalties for the songwriters and the publishers, to be very specific. Sound Exchange collects for the artist, the actual artist who is performing the song. So if you wrote your song and you performing your song, that's who checks. Mm-hmm. Nielsen sound scan that's what um that's like the digital database that counts that counts your streams that counts um your purchases this is how you get on the billboard awards this is this is how you get on the billboard charts not awards this is they are what count they count all the radio stations all the internet streams including being including distro kid so it's like sound exchange and distro kid together they track your sales. Yeah, if your song is not registered, it will not get tracked. Right. I've worked, I have like a couple clients. One of my clients is a uh, Doobie, Lil Doobie. I mean, not Lil Doobie, Doobie Honcho. Yeah, that's my dad. What got you into publishing? Um, just because people didn't know. I, I didn't know that people didn't know. I was just doing my shit. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, I didn't have nobody else to go to. And then. I didn't realize how lucrative it was because other artists just have no fucking clue. Like, I didn't have a clue. But they don't take the time to find out because they be trapping or raising families or 
working in nine to fives. That's good. Find the problem, fix the problem. That's what she did. Problem, solution. 